Okay. Hey, Dr. Cruz, healthy meat, but I do. And we have um, another ingrown toenail. This one's only a week old, so this is a baby ingrown. But nonetheless, it's still uh, pretty darn significant. Um, if you can come over on this side and just look at the curvature of the nail, um, maybe from the front, yeah. I mean, you can just see those things digging in, and anytime you have that much curvature in the nail, digging into the skin, it does not feel good. Um, there's an old saying, if your feet hurt, your whole body hurts, and it's it's true even with this. I think there's that old uh, parable, or it's not a parable, but that old children's story with the, the lion and the thorn in his foot. Took out the lion, right, and then the, whoever came along and helped them out. In any case, we were talking about Christmas decorations because nobody's ready for Christmas, and um, I just bought lights yesterday at Walmart, and um, it looks like we're going to do the projection lights because then I never have to hang lights again, right? I mean, so There's no it's beautiful. Type. What's that? You don't put your permanent type of lights up? Yeah, so I want to hang it off the tree so that my um, my lawn doesn't, my, my uh, lawn guys don't. You yeah. don't know what it was like. Correct. And it, no yeah, and it puts a bunch of like snowflakes or a, or a candy cane. They're cheap. They used to be like 200 bucks. Now they're like 15. Yeah. So it was a no-brainer. So I bought three of them to like put them on, you know, separate angles or whatever. And it looks great. So I'm never going to put lights up again. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I did buy a nativity and um, the, uh, the stable part is the only thing that doesn't work. So, so, so I don't even know what to do. Cause now I have to sit there and Mess try the lights, yeah. each bulb, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what to do. So I gotta call you, the company. You know what happened, I think? They What's think, that? Uh, somebody stepped on my toe. Yeah? And uh, ever since then, they're talking about a medicine facility. For real? Yeah, somebody wanted to work and took my toe. Took me, okay. And I, and I triggered that. No kidding. Huh. Well, that's not good. Did you, did you kick the person? No, no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. So it wasn't their. They didn't mean to. They just yeah. kind of. Oh, that's interesting. I can't get that off. Oh, there we go. Okay, so so per the uh, subscribers' requests, I'm going to put on a tourniquet, okay, just for you guys, because this guy is bleeding a lot, and I don't want him to bleed all over the place. There we go. I'm just gonna put a little tape around, okay. Nothing, nothing crazy. There we go. All right, that should slow it down a little bit. Okay, very good. We're gonna keep moving forward, okay? Yeah, that's um, that can totally cause it if someone steps on your toe, but you've had it before, that's the thing, right? You've had it um, in the past, correct? Okay, so then, you know, he could have re-aggravated it or whatever, you know, but... No, I could, that incident started it. I'm, that's what the whole, oh, I see, from the beginning. I follow, yeah. I follow. Yep, you're correct, that happens. So a lot of the time, it's someone who, um, it, was, it, was it was fine. That that happens a lot when um, people stub their toe or they run and, and they hit the front of their shoe and they cause like a bruise underneath the nail, then the nail falls off, and then next thing you know, um, the nail's coming in kind of crooked and they get an ingrown. So it's it's, again, most of the time, the ingrown's caused by trauma. Which in your case, you were called. So yeah, that is totally a thing. Nope, not today. Not today. I know, I know, you feel pressure. It's like raising a flag. Is it infected or just inflamed? Uh, inflamed. It's not that bad, but it's really strong, that's for sure. Yeah, I got some thick nails. I think it's just hanging on for dear life right now. It's nice because I took out the granuloma with the nail, so we kind of did a one-stop procedure there. But I think there's something still connected back here. Now, will I have any pain after the procedure? Yes, sir, you will. <laughs> so, so what I tell oh, patients? I don't know how he, uh, he used to put lidocaine in his toe. Yeah, you don't need to do that. But what I do suggest is, um, just don't don't abuse the toe if you don't have to. Okay. So that's um, that's quite an ingrown toenail. That almost looks like a shark tooth. A what? A shark tooth. It does. It looks like a shark tooth. Oh, shark tooth. I'll show it to you here. Pretty big. So that was in your skin, correct. So now your skin looks pretty darn normal. There we go.
<laughs> now people are going to complain about my tourniquet technique. I think you have a for blood now. Uh, no, I don't, to be honest. But I do like seeing blood because that means you're going to heal this thing with no problem. Okay? If I saw no blood, you'd probably see me pass out. Okay? <laughs> but that's why we check beforehand. I, I, I don't know if you saw me feeling uh, your feet, but I check your pulse prior to doing the procedure to make sure you have good circulation. Because if you don't, then that's not a good thing. You don't, you don't want to cut people with no circulation. Okay? So we check. All right, that's good. So now we're going to kill the matrix so that nail doesn't grow back. And we'll put the sodium hydroxide back there to burn it. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. No, that's that's my job. I'm on my feet quite a bit. That that is totally a thing, man. That is totally a thing. More common than not, unfortunately, you know. Are the holidays at your house or where are you celebrating the holidays? Where? Here or in are you going to places? Oh, we, my wife just usually does Christmas dinner, and that's it. Okay, cool. That's about as far as we go with it. We still have to buy our roast. My mom and dad are coming down from Chicago, so we got to cook, you know. Chai Town, huh? Chai Town, yeah. No, it's just I didn't want to drip all over the floor. <laughs> there we go. There. And no allergies that you know of, right? Good. All right, there. Got it. Gotta clean up that toenail. I got real expensive clothes, just so you know. I know. I'm sorry for touching the other ones. <laughs> sorry for touching the other ones. Oh, I just like, she tried to cut my nails. And just, yeah. Yeah, have a hard time. I believe you. Do you want me to cut your nails then? Is that what you're asking? Huh? Is that what you're asking me to do then? Should I cut your nails? If you, if you like. I can. I mean, when you're here, I'm not going to numb up each toe. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? <laughs> but I'll cut them real quick, okay? And uh, if you don't mind, we'll record that part too. Why not? I used to have a, one of my doctors in Ohio was a, uh, a dietitian that he switched over to general family practice. Yeah. And uh, he used to come up for me. He did a really good job. What what uh, part of Ohio? Up, up in Cleveland. No kidding. Where in Cleveland? Uh, what's the name of that little town? Near Sola. I think it was Sola. I went to school in Cleveland. That's why. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I you spent... Went to no, we went to Ohio College of Podiatric Medicine. So that's the uh, one of the you, you eight know schools. You know Dr. Tchaikovsky? It sounds familiar. I can't remember. I can't remember. I can't remember. Would you mind moving the toe over here, or the foot over here? I'm going to move that bloody toe. And then uh, we're going to put the shark tooth I over here. moving the shark, man. Yeah, I know. I mean, you got bit. <laughs> That's the story I would tell people, is that you got bit by a shark in your foot. All right, there. If it hits you, I'm sorry. Does that hurt? Okay, I'm going to be nice. Better? Okay. Uh, no, she didn't cut them too even. She doesn't? Yeah, she tried to cut them for me. Why? I'm going to cut them right straight across. Uh-oh, it sounds like we're getting a warning of some sort. I wonder if the phone's going to go nuts. I was just thinking that. <laughs> yeah, you're fighting me every way. There. Yeah, I got my, I got my mom's hideous feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can usually blame your mother for most things, you know that? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's the stronger genes. There you go. By the way, these are... My, oh, okay, okay. These are my favorite nail lifters. Those are? <laughs> no, I hate these. Okay. Not too easy. The last one I felt. I know. I was just checking to see if you felt things. Okay? Yeah, I feel. Okay, we confirmed it. We confirmed it. There we go. There. there. 
We're just gonna smooth them down, okay? So that you don't have any jagged nails. And then we'll get you out of here, okay? No more torture. And then we're gonna see you after Christmas. Okay. Yep, just to check it out, see how it's doing. Doing okay? Good. Uh, just tonight. You can. Um, we have instructions up front, and uh, you can take the bandage off tonight. I like uh, for you to either soak it in warm soapy water or in um, white vinegar with water, okay. and then white soak it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But we have the instructions up front, so it's, it's you don't have to memorize it. And then the key is just keeping it clean and dry. So after you you soak it, you can dry it completely. Apply a little bit of um, ointment, triple antibiotic, just a little. Don't put a lot. Just smudge it on there and then put a band-aid on and that's it okay it's gonna drain because we burn the skin so that's where the soaks come into play okay to help it drain um other than that just be nice to the foot and you'll be okay if other people be nice to correct if, if the people are stepping on it just you know yeah. kick them with the other good foot I'm telling you. right just reaction you know, i can't help it a lot of agony there. i believe you i believe you so but you're gonna be good so this is it this is Dr. Thank you, man. No, no problem. No problem whatsoever. This is Dr. Cruz from Healthy Feet Podiatry. Again, another successful ingrown nail. Uh, patient's going to come back in after the holidays, so that's in four weeks. Um, so yeah, if you like what we did, subscribe to the channel. Uh, leave a comment. Like the video. Don't like the video. Whatever you want to do. It's a free country. And then uh, subscribe to our Instagram at um, Healthy Feet Podiatry. And if you want to follow me on my journey on my marathon, it's at, at JC Podiatry on Instagram as well. And uh, I'm posting videos as well of me running down the street and sweating. So um, you can watch that and laugh. Um, what else? That's it. Happy holidays, guys.